I immediately felt like it was somewhere where I, it's funny the energy in the building was was um, was quite different and I'd applied to other drama schools um, which had been a little uh, a little more imposing and possibly but maybe that's just my interpretation I mean at that age you're so impressionable and you're so um, kind of this the, your nerves, your adrenaline, make you very, very aware of the energy of a building um, or the energy of a room. How welcome you feel, how um, how much or how high the step is that you're being asked to step onto. And um, sometimes people make that transition easy. Sometimes people make that transition hard. And in a way, that's part of the test. And here, I felt like there is um, a very welcoming energy. And you know, whatever happens here is fine, it's all right, you know, um, nothing is wrong, um, do your best. And that seems to me to be a really good environment to work in, is that it's not a, especially for a training um, institution, is that you want to be, you want to feel free to fail, or at least feel free to move, so that not everything has to be perfect, because God knows life isn't perfect and there are rough edges, and on your way to becoming good at something, you necessarily have to stumble and bump and fall and, and pick yourself up and dust yourself off and go again. And also just the history of the place. There was something very special about understanding when I got the prospectus and I looked at the back and there was a list of um, alumni, of graduates, and they were essentially all the actors that I'd ever respected. Um, and they possibly weren't people who were making headlines at the time, but they were people who had made headlines for me across the course of my life. So it was just like I read Peter O'Toole, Alan Bates, Albert Finney, who I'd met. So I was just, you know, I felt a bit special. Um, and, um, and then as we go further down, and it's Rafe Fiennes, Kenneth Branagh, Clive Owen, Paul McGann, Juliet Stevenson, Jane Horrocks, Imelda Staunton. Um, you know, I, I mean that that was just the list goes on and on and on. And Anthony Hopkins, um, you could pluck names out of a hat from different generations, and they'd all seem to be there, the leading lights. So I thought there must be something about this, um, this building, this place. This that there's a philosophy here that I could sort of tangibly feel. Wanted to be part of. Oh, I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited to start. It was, it was felt like a beginning of a huge um, adventure. You know, um, I was I'd moved to London. It's you're digging in for three years. There are thirty people in your class. Um, I remember the first day we were all assembled. We were all sort of sat in a circle, and I remember looking around the circle and and seeing exactly how. Um, the year had been kind of assembled in that no one person was the same. And I thought that was an extraordinarily kind of intelligent um, policy, in a way, a policy of, of like making sure that, that you had different people and it was almost a melting pot of different uh, talent and people from different parts of the country with different backgrounds and um, family histories and accents and you know so in my year we had sort of representatives from Belfast, um, Bolton, Derby, um, Glasgow, Swaziland, New York City, North London, South London, um, Wales, <laughs> um, I'm trying to, East Anglia, Cornwall, um, and then we had people who'd been to university and done lots of reading of books and sort of who were a bit older, a bit more life experience, and then people who'd just left school and, and, and um, tenors and baritones and people who were be beautiful singers and terrible at improvising and people who were brilliant at Shakespeare and appalling at stage fighting or whatever it was, you know. It was this mixture of talent that felt like you were, they were, it, was about, it was three years of swapping okay, so I'm terrible at this and you're really good at it, so how do you do that? And in a way, that's the strongest bond, is that you, you're so connected to these people and you're in the trenches with them for three years and it's a kind of, you're all in the chicken soup together and, and you start to lose track of which ingredients have come from what, but you're all sharing and, and it's a, that's an amazing way to, to learn, I think. 
I actually uh, funded my training with the, with the money that I earned from television work while I was at Cambridge, which is really satisfying um, in a way. And, and um, I remember feeling really proud of having done the work and then kind of reinvesting it into my craft in a way um, that I didn't just sort of blow it on a car or something. <laughs> Not that it was enough for that, but you know, um, I could have bought a small Peugeot or something with my with my fees. But it was it was it was great to to be to have earned some money and to be putting it back. And, and um, uh, I know, but I know a lot of people in my year were were supported, and I think that was that was better because it it meant that. Um, it just meant it didn't feel elitist or exclusive. It meant that people from any background were were acceptable and um, you know legitimate for entry to the place, and that all you needed to get here was talent, which is the really important thing. I mean, it sh I think as as this the nation and the world's leading drama school, it should be you know you should as long as you're good, if you've got some kind of gift, you should be allowed to be here. You know, it shouldn't be about money. You know, my three years at Rada were completely mad in one way. It was like, it was, it was so exciting and such hard work and so illuminating and often frustrating, but you know, only because you're coming up against obstacles within yourself, you're being asked to do things you can't do. And it's always challenging. And it was often hard to explain to people who weren't on the journey with you quite what was going on. Um, but you'll always have the shared experience, you know, it's like, um, and I found that working with other generations of people, you know, I was in a production in the West End, sharing a dressing room with uh, three actors uh, who were all in their late 40s, early 50s, all of whom had been to RADA. And the RADA that they attended was different from mine, but we were, there was a sort of shared bond because we'd all been through something. Uh, I'm a buddy, um, so that means that I have uh, every uh, third year student, every third year I'm assigned a student to kind of mentor, I suppose, and, and I'm just a phone number, an email address, a face um, with, a, with a degree of experience that they can just bounce questions at, you know, how do I get an agent, uh, what do I do, I've got an audition tomorrow, um, uh, how do you prepare for this, how do you, how do you process that, what happened, you know, what, how did you feel when you first didn't get something, or this is what I'm hearing from a casting director, what does that mean, or I have a choice between these two things, what do you think I should do, and my response is always, oh, what do you think, you know, and um, because my understanding so far has been it's, the truth is different for everybody, and everyone's experience is, is uh, everyone's journey through the, through the kind of forest of it all is, is a kind of different one um, but it's so nice I, it's so nice to be someone that be, that's independent from the school that's out there in the world that they can call up and say so um, I've been you know under you know between these four walls and under one roof for three years and it seems a bit different out there so how do I square that off and I'm I'm kind of part of the part of the um, that process I guess I have, I have a sort of recurring memory, I think, of very late, late evenings in the autumn and winter, where for whatever reason, we're all still here, you know? <laughs> Nobody's gone home because something has been unfinished or you've started, you know, you've all collectively, a curiosity is, is, um, has been um, chased. And, you know, you started something and you can't go home until you finished it. Um, and you're all students, so, you know, no one's being paid to be here. We're just here because we want to be here. And, and something's happened which you think, well, if we all go home, it might not be here tomorrow, so let's just keep working. And, you'll work, and you sort of end up staying until 10 or 11 at night in an acting room in Cheney Street because something exciting is happening. You know, somebody's discovering something. And those moments were real, were, were, were amazing. You know, people experiencing breakthroughs in their own talent or, or, you know, watching someone learn that they could actually sing for the first time 
is, is amazing. You know, someone who maybe for 20 years has believed they didn't have a singing voice and a singing teacher opens up some safety catch within their confidence and they're singing like Julie Andrews. And they're, it's an amazing thing to be part of, to experience. So I remember those moments, for sure. Thank you.